Hello, good afternoon everyone. Thank you for joining us today. Welcome back to Prince and Nikki's channel. Today we want to bring you episode two and an update of the La Shibi project. If you haven't watched the previous episode, this is a four bedroom semi-detached property. There are two properties on the site and the site size is 72 by 100. The building itself is occupying uh, 17 by 18.7 uh, meters on the plot. So thank you for joining us to watch this new episode on this particular project. In the last episode, we stopped at the casting of the footings. And in today's video, we're going to show you the block work and filling of the foundation. So before we get into describing the video for, for you, I just want to give a thank you to all of you that's joined us lately and thank you to all our continuous viewers. Do give us a comment and like on this video. Let us know that you're enjoying the new videos and content. Um, as always, we will continue bringing updates on our own particular building project, but we have lots of new exciting projects coming through from the company on the screen, PND Construction. So. We feel we wanted to share the journey of the new projects as well. Um, we're mindful that as well as us being at the roofing stage, there will be new people that are maybe at the planning or the foundation stage. So we want to bring new ideas to those of you at that stage, as well as looking at our previous content. Yes, so we, we're dealing with a lot of our clients now who are at the very early stages uh, of the process. Uh, so I think all these videos are very useful uh, to show uh, people who are the, at the planning stages or about to start their foundations work, uh, how things are done uh, differently by different uh, contractors. Yes, and also gives you different ideas. Um, this particular one, obviously, it's semi-detached um, property. So if you have something like that in mind, it gives you a little idea in terms of the quantities and also just how it's done um, in terms of the building project. In the last video you see, we started with the uh, profiling and then digging of the foundation and casting of the footing. Uh, what we continue here is, is the second part of that foundation, stage one substructure process, um, whereby you began to lay the blocks. Uh, one of the things also we need to mention when you are at the very early stages is first, after you got all your design, uh, done, uh, the next stage you to think about is a pre-construction is whereby you obtain your quotation, arrange all your materials, uh, everything you're going to need, uh, arrange site visit with your site manager or your, your foreman to go and see where the site is actually, then you are set a date to actually start the work uh, whereby you start doing your profiling. So that pre-construction is very, very important that you get everything organized, uh, know when uh, you're gonna start digging the ground, when your architect or your engineer is gonna be on the site. It's very, very crucial. You cannot skip the pre-construction stage and expect to have a, a very smooth uh, delivery of your project. Uh, it's very, very important. One point I would like to make as well is um, if you're looking at starting within a three to six month period, a lot of local vendors will let you buy materials and collect them at a later date. Um, that gives you some element of security um, that materials won't be stolen, but it's also helping you to start preparing for that process. Yes, you, you send the money from abroad here to the merchant, uh, to your account. Um, they, they will send you a receipt by WhatsApp and you keep that receipt until you need to use the materials and you give it to your uh, foreman, your site manager, and they will go and, and take that material. It's the best way to start organizing uh, for, for your project. Uh, otherwise, if you want to wait until you have all the money to go and start buying your iron rods, to start buying your cement, I think it's just become very expensive. So if you are ready to build, you know, you're gonna start in the next three to six months, then the best thing we will suggest is you, you begin buying those materials, uh, getting the receipt from the vendors, and then tell them that when you need it, you'll come for it. Majority of the vendors uh, provide that uh, facility.
One of the things that's really important um, just before you start this block work is just to make sure that you work with your construction company and your foreman to make sure that you get the levels correct. Obviously, land um, is very different all over. Some are slope, some are lower than the road. So you have to think about making sure that you've got future proof in terms of when the main roads are laid and that your house is going to be higher than the main road. But also the in the land itself on your plot, that if there is a slope, the foundation will be slightly higher, raised at one side to the other. There is a reason for this. Yeah, I think it's uh, you just need to have that plan uh, with with your designer. First of all, that's what I would suggest because it needs to be drawn uh, correctly. Uh, but most of the times for drawings we see, even for uh, a slope uh, land, they don't show that the foundation it needs to be stepped or anything. So when the four months or it goes there, then you find out actually that the, the foundation needs to be stepped. But you just need to 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 discuss that with your foreman to make sure that you don't end up with too many steps inside your building. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think what it is, is you just want, ideally, unless it's something that you're very particular and want lots of steps, in an ideal world, you want to move into your house at the front door and it just be seamlessly flat all the way through, um, especially if you're building and you want this to be a, um, a forever home that you can age in. You want to be able to move around at all age, um, that there's not steps and drops in different levels. So just something to be mindful of is that you just need to get the levels correct and it's something that you can discuss with the builder. Yeah, it's, it's not just the level inside the, the house. You need to think externally. How yeah, do, you, yeah. do, you, do you want to use the house? How does the levels work? Uh, you need to factor all that in before you start actually digging the ground. I know there are some situations whereby you are on a hill, you cannot achieve a, com a completely a level uh, um, f ground with, within the building, finished levels within the building, but with careful planning, you could minimize the number of steps inside the building. Uh, so you, you just need careful planning, uh, talk to the right people. Uh, as I said, the pre-construction stage is very important that you, you do all those pre-planning, um, discuss with your a builder with your aspirations a builder will come with an idea and agree the best way forward before you start digging the ground what you don't want is to start uh, the process and it's oh we need to raise the foundation here we need to step it down here uh, which might not necessarily be what your aspirations are it's just important that you have that discussion uh, with your builder uh, during the very early stages uh, before uh, you begin the process yeah, so it's just making sure that it's um, exactly what you want for your vision. Um, but as I said earlier, just make sure you consider the main road and the land around outside of your plot. You just want to make sure that your house is not too high, that you've got so much filling to do, but it also needs to be at a level whereby um, as the roads are raised and there's no flooding and stuff in the house. So as you can see here, um, you can see the block work has now been done. It gives you some kind of idea of... The building going up and, and this is really exciting when you start your own project and you see the kind of block work going up you get a sense of the sheer vast size of your property um when when you see it on paper it does change the excitement once you start seeing it go up on the plot size so it's very exciting yeah when well you can see the money coming out from the ground yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the worst thing is actually the worst thing is the foundation stage because what you're seeing here, it's all dead money in the when you look at it, once you've done your casting of the floor, all what you're seeing here and the filling is money in the ground and you don't even see it. Yeah, I think yeah, it's it's, it's misfilling, isn't it? It's exciting. Yeah. You can you can now it's see exciting. The money you spend is now coming out. You can see, oh, something is coming out. But at this stage, you still can't see any rooms being formed. So yeah. you're still not sure what you're going to end up with. But it's exciting. Uh, finally, the foundations are coming up. And um, yeah, it's, it's looking great. And the quality, the workmanship is, is, is superb. Uh, no matter if the work is below ground or above ground, the same uh, quality. Uh, we use the same uh, gang of, of people uh, who know the level of uh, quality expected. 
because if you don't do it right tomorrow you will not come back to the site <laughs> yeah it's, it's one of the things that um we always wanted on our own project is high quality building that will um stand out and that's what we really want for the workers that are working for us yeah so here we just have the cabin uh coming to do uh the foam work for the casting of these uh, columns so um he spent a couple of days just uh, boarding all the the columns then when he's ready uh to just uh, cast it uh, what they do normally do is they leave the last course uh to give them ease access going in into the um the foundation so uh, whilst he's doing those there was a, the guys who just lay the final course on the outside of there then um they'll cast their columns and ready for the filling so in terms of the quantities of materials here we used 3000 blocks um in terms of sand we had there was two trips delivered but about one and a half was actually used in materials but that's something that's really good in terms of building oh if you're over buying you'll never go short because you're saving money because the prices keep going up in terms of the stones we had two trips and for the whole casting and block work the cement bags was 200. So as you can see here all the block work has been completed and they're now starting to do the filling in. This particular job is um, quite a critical stage. It, it normally takes at least a few days um, to do this process. You'll note from our previous videos we are quite keen on the compacting of the foundation works. We believe that the compacting is an important phase to prevent any voids. Um, this normally we do in stage process where we do some filling, then we use a compactor machine, compact it down and then do another stage of filling. This is completely up to the client depending on their project. So we, we obviously advise them accordingly and then obviously the client will decide. Yeah, I think we, we must note that on this project, the client decided to just fill it uh, and not do immediate compacting because they're gonna, uh, it's a rainy season. They want to leave it uh, for a while uh, before they come in uh, and do the compacting and do the casting. So that's what we do. We, we don't force anything on, on the client's the final decision. It's up to the client on what they want to do. And also, as we've said before, we, we are mindful that a lot of people, um, it is an, a large amount of money that's been set out. So people do choose to leave things for six months, three months, sometimes 12 months before starting the next stage. So if the sand is here waiting, then it will be ready for them when they do the casting of the floor. The key point is to make a start. Um, if you've acquired land, do make a start on it. As we've always said in all our videos, um, stick to a budget but also keep moving do projects small stages and you will save money in the long run if you haven't seen our previous video that was posted last week that is um, a great detailed breakdown on the percentage increase year on year on materials have a look at that and it will give you a real good understanding of the reason why we say just make a start and you will save money in the long run yes uh, cement year on year uh, has gone up 85 percent we hope you enjoyed today's video where we showed you the block work and filling of the stage one construction process. Um, if you've got any queries that you'd like to ask us, do give us a contact on the numbers on the screen or the email. We'd be happy to help you with your building project and are also happy to help you in the comments. So if you have any questions, do give us a comment below and like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching everyone. Thank you. Bye.